in that first production, it was a musical review, so I played a few different characters, but one of them that really uh, seemed to um, uh, sink in and really, you know, uh, impacted me was uh, the, the role of a, 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 a civil rights worker, a, a sit-in protester that was a, it was a musical piece called um, The Lovin' and Hatin' Blues, and it was... Um, really powerful piece about what, w what was going on politically at that time with, with the Civil Rights Movement. And um, that almost uh, uh, directly led to another one of my early experiences, which was uh, joining a, a group uh, uh, of theater artists in the South in the mid-60s uh, called the Free Southern Theater. And I joined them in 1965 and stayed for two years. The second year, I actually became the uh, the director of the theater, so it was it was quite um, uh, you know um, uh, an important experience for me to, to first of all just to be involved in uh, th that social movement of, of that period uh, in the South. Uh, I'd heard by then about all the uh, the freedom riders and the, the the people who had gone south for this movement. So to be a part of that and to to do to, and to participate in, in it as a performer, as an actor, and to give my talents that way was really exciting. Well, the mission was to kind of be the the cultural arm of the movement at that time, and to really uh, uh, show and uh, our audiences, which were primarily black actually uh, in the South, although there were of course all the uh, uh, the movement workers from the north uh, of all colors who had gone south for this, but um, it was this was a time of really staunch segregation in the south. Still, I mean, uh, Jim Crow was still very much alive, and 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 one of my first experiences after arriving in New Orleans, which is where we we were based, was um, an encounter which we didn't really plan. But I, um, after moving into my uh, apartment with my my uh, Jewish roommate. We went to a, a bar down the street, and uh, it led to our being arrested for trying to integrate this bar. And that was like within my first two weeks of being in the South. <laughs> so I wound up, uh, and, and the charge was vagrancy, which is a law that is no longer on the books. But at that time, it was, it was used as a, as, a, as a way, as a device of uh, you know, attacking uh, civil rights workers who were who had come south. This was 1965, yeah. And um, uh, our, our, our legal team uh, with the uh, ACLU actually used our case as a way of contesting the constitutionality of that law, uh, which led immediately to the dismissal of those charges uh, because they didn't want to get into that. <laughs> So uh, charges were dismissed, but then you know uh, uh, there were other incidents after that, which really drove home what it was we were we were down there to to to, uh, to protest, you know, and to and to try to change in the South. Well, we did plays that really spoke to some of those kinds of questions. Um, not only plays of, that were directly about um, America. We did we did do a play called In White America, which was actually being performed in New York um, maybe the year or two before I joined the Free Southern Theater. It, it ran at the Sheridan Square Playhouse in New York. It was, I remember, I, rem I remember it vividly because it was the first time I had ever seen uh, an actress named Gloria Foster who went on to become a really wonderful theater uh, and, 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 uh, and uh, highly re regarded actress of, of her time got to work with her years later, but um, I was just really blown away by her work. But the play itself really spoke about the history of um, the freedom movements uh, throughout, uh, you know, primarily the South in this country. Uh, so that play, but we also did plays that um, had parallel type themes but were not indigenous to this country, like uh, Bertolt Brecht, who, uh, who was a very Kind of revolutionary uh, playwright of his of his uh, generation and and and, and country. Uh, we did a few of his pieces. Um, Sean O'Casey. We did. Uh, so it was a really educational experience for me uh, as well. But um, 
it was a way of highlighting some of these themes that were that were uh, actually um, being lived uh, by our audiences at the time. 